this is the, the the idea of the psychological crash, you know, God in Christianity being a psychological crash. Is that like a personal attack or something? Or is that a request? Do you think I should? Yeah. So sometimes the idea is that belief in God is just, a, you know, a crutch people need to lean on. Um, I forget who said it, but that religion is the opiate of the masses, you know, um, something happened in their life. So now they need, you know, uh, to lean on this belief of God and whatnot so they can get through life and, and whatever. The first thing, you know, one could say is, OK, let's pretend that's true. Does that mean it's false? No. For example, my wife loves me. I believe my wife loves me. We've been married for eight years. And, you know, someone might say, oh, well, you you just believe your wife loves you because it helps you have a better day. Yeah, it does. It helps me have a fantastic day. But does that mean it's false? No. So even if I grant that it's a crutch, so what? What, what, what is that? Do you think this hurts us? Uh, you know, if I said, well, you know, some people say, well, if evolution is true, God doesn't exist. I think that's a terrible argument. I don't think it follows. But what if I said, well, you just believe in evolution as a crutch to not believe in God? Well, so what? Does that mean evolution isn't true? Well, they wouldn't say that, right? So, yeah, uh, uh, even if it is a crutch, who cares? So what? On top of that, again, the, the final question is, is this true or not? Is it true is, or is it false? Whether or not it's a crutch, in other words, it doesn't matter how I came to these beliefs. Some people will say, well, if you're born in the East, you would be a, you'd be a Muslim, not a Christian. You're just a Christian because you're born in America. Again, let's pretend that's true. So what? You know, and, and and they're essentially saying, well, if I can, it's called the genetic fallacy. If I can show you where your beliefs originated, that somehow disproves your beliefs. But but no, consider this illustration. Say you have a person who believes everything that the fortune cookie tells them. They open a fortune cookie and it says two plus two equals four. And on that basis, they now believe two plus two equals four. Is that belief false? No. But if you said, oh, but you only believe that because of the fortune cookie, that's true. But it's still a true belief, right? So point is, showing where the origin of belief came from doesn't mean it's false. And on top of that, you know, the person telling you this, you know, sometimes they say this and, and they they claim to be former Christians. Well, wait a minute. It seems that you're a you're not you're an atheist and you change your beliefs even though you're born in America. So it shows that you don't have to keep with the beliefs that you grew up in. And and you can even say, well, wait a minute, you're just an atheist because you grew up in this part of America that had a lot of atheists. But does that prove atheism is false? No. So, yeah, it, it's it's a dumb thing to point out. Even if it's true, it's it's irrelevant. At the end of the day, the question is, does God exist or not? Is Christianity true or is it false? Lose.